Welcome to the SEI Podcast Series, a production of the Carnegie Mellon University Software Engineering Institute. The SEI is a federally funded research and development center sponsored by the U.S. Department of Defense. A transcript of today's podcast is posted on the SEI website at sei.cmu.edu slash podcasts. Hi, and welcome to the SEI podcast series. My name is Katie Stewart, and I'm a senior engineer with the SEI search division. I'm joined by my colleague, Andrew Hoover, and Andrew leads the resilience engineering team at the SEI search division at Carnegie Mellon University. So in today's podcast, we're going to focus on the assessment guides for the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification, or CMMC. But first, we're going to tell our guests a little bit about ourselves and our backgrounds and what brought us here to the SCI. So again, I'm Brady Stewart. I've been with the SCI about seven, eight years, and I'm primarily focused on risk and resilience as well as measurement and analysis. I've been involved with the CMMC project from the beginning. Um, and we're really excited to be releasing the assessment guides. Um, Andy, would you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, sure, Katie. Thank you. Uh, I'm Andy Hoover. I have been at the SEI for eight years. Uh, most of that time has been spent in the Cyber Risk and Resilience Directorate. Uh, I mainly focus on cybersecurity architecture, cyber resilience, and critical infrastructure protection. Like Katie, I have been involved in CMMC since the very beginning. So. Uh, Really happy to, to talk about the assessment guides and, and, and happy to, uh, to get them released soon. Great. Thank you, Lily. Um, so for members of our audience who might be new to CMMC, uh, we actually have a lot of um, different podcasts, blog posts, webcasts um, that provide a good overview of CMMC and the work that we've done on it. Um, so we'll link all of those resources in our transcript um, of this podcast. Uh, so let's get started. Um, so on this podcast and a couple more after, um, Andy and I are going to walk through and talk about the long-awaited CMMC assessment guides. Um, the podcast today is just going to be a very high-level overview, uh, but definitely listen to the future podcasts, and we're going to dive into a lot more detail. Um, so let's just start with the basics. Um, Andy, can you tell us what an assessment guide is? Yeah, sure. So at a high level, an assessment guide is a document that the assessors are going to use to conduct a CMMC assessment in an organization. That said, it's also um, a document that organizations should use to prepare for an upcoming CMMC assessment. That way they'll know what the assessor is going to be asking, what types of evidence would be accepted, um, what are the assessment objectives, and, and ultimately, what are the requirements for the certification that they'll be trying to meet. Uh, so assessment guides, you know, in addition to the direct questions, they also include additional information sometimes, maybe you know, scoping information, what types of acceptable evidence um, will be required, things like that. Assessment guides are by far the most important document an organization can use to prepare themselves for a CMMC assessment. Yeah, great. I absolutely agree. Um, can you give a little background about how the CMMC assessment guides were developed? Yeah, sure. So the assessment guides were primarily developed by those of us on the CMMC model team. Uh, in addition to that, there was a, a lot of collaboration with the industry. Uh, the CMMC accreditation body, of course, was involved, as well as the assessors from the from um, DCMA. We went through a number of iterations with the guides, and they have been used several times in, in mock assessments and CMMC Pathfinder activities. And then we also leveraged experience here from the SEI. So some major inputs into the CMMC model were things like the CERT RMM, of course, CMMI, the CRR and some of the other derivatives from those products, and we leveraged the um, the assessment information used to conduct those when we built out the CMMC assessment guides. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it was a very collaborative effort. Yeah, it was. You know, there was a lot of uh, input with varying viewpoints from, from different organizations. And, you know, this is really key to CMMC because when you think about it, CMMC assessments are going to be done on three-person companies, 
all the way up to the prime contractors. And so we needed to make sure that the assessment guides were accessible to all. And so therefore getting um, input and viewpoints from folks within organizations of all different sizes was, was key to the development. Yeah, you know, I think that's a really important point to make. Um, I know that a lot of work went into making these guides useful um, to all organizations, regardless of size, even cybersecurity. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're going to talk in detail about the assessment guides and their content, you know, in our in our future podcast coming out shortly. Yeah, so that's good. Um, in future podcasts, we'll walk through, you know, the details of what's in the assessment guides, the various sections, and how they can be used. Um, but for our current listeners, I'm sure they're wondering, where is the current draft of the assessment guides? So they're going to be listed on the OUSD CMMC website. That is going to be the authoritative source for all the CMMC information. So in addition to the model, the appendices, the assessment guides will be listed out there. And we'll definitely link to that site in the transcript of our podcast. Yeah, I think that's a really good point to make again. The authoritative source for all CMC documents, the model, the assessment guides, the appendices will always be the OUSD website. Yep. Okay, great. Um, I'm really looking forward to digging into some of the details of the assessment guides for our next podcast, as well as we'll do a couple podcasts specifically on the level one guide and the level two guide. Yeah, I mean, those are going to be really good discussions. Looking forward to it. Yeah. So thanks for being here, Andy, and talking about this work. Um, as a reminder to our audience, we'll include all the links we talked about today in the transcript of our podcast. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, you can get to us through our LinkedIn pages, or you can email us at info at And thank you for joining us today. Thanks for joining us. This episode is available where you download podcasts, including SoundCloud, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. It is also available on the SEI website at sei.cmu.edu slash podcasts and the SEI's YouTube channel. This copyrighted work is made available through the Software Engineering Institute, a federally funded research and development center sponsored by the U.S. Department of Defense. For more information about the SEI and this work, please visit www.sei.cmu.edu. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us at info at sei.cmu.edu. Thank you.